Hey everybody, Matt here, Big Red Liquors, and today I'm taking a look at Conor McGregor's new whiskey, uh, Proper 12 Irish Whiskey. Um, a lot of celebrities uh, get into the liquor game, uh, try to do something. Some are more successful than others. I think about uh, the George Clooney, uh, Randy Gerber, Casamigos Tequila brand, which sold for a billion dollars, I think. Uh, so there are some really good products. Um, Obviously, celebrity lends them a great head start, and obviously, with the way uh, the way Conor McGregor markets himself, markets his fights, that's uh, kind of a no-brainer. The way that he sort of represents Ireland writ large, that he would that he would go into the Irish whiskey category. The Irish whiskey category is obviously dominated 70, 75, 80 percent market share most places by Jameson uh, Bushmills, which is made in Northern Ireland, owned by Proximo. Uh, th that is working with this brand. So this is more than likely Bushmills, though it doesn't say that anywhere. Uh, it's just conjecture. Um, and then there's um, there's Cooley, which was started by the Teeling family, which now owns Teeling, a brand that is producing its own whiskey, but buying but buying stocks to support uh, what it's what it's doing until it's got its own uh, distillate in the bottle. So anyway. Uh, the category, though, is still dominated completely by Jameson. So I think it's interesting that a celebrity is going to get into the mix and uh, see if just for, through the sheer uh, willpower of marketing can take a brand and really build a brand. And, and how long will they stay interested? Uh, will, they, will they promote it? Will they be all about it? So um, that being said, I'm not, full disclosure, I'm not a huge MMA fan. I really don't, I mean, I've watched a few fights, but don't really care, but uh, I do care about whiskey, so let's try it and uh, judge it on its own merits. This is priced, you uh, even a little bit premium to Jameson. Most places are going to be $29.99, uh, $27.99, thereabouts. Some nice barrel spice on the nose. Um, reminiscent of bourbon uh, but it's also got some of that vanilla custard kind of creme brulee style vanilla coming through a little bit of uh, orchard fruit coming through let's try it great mouthfeel honey toffee vanilla right up front uh, mid palate, you start to get the orchard fruit. You really get the barrel spice coming through on the mid palate and the finish, uh, which is surprising. Uh, it's got sort of the combination of a sweeter profile like Jameson, though I don't really taste a lot of like sherry influence here, so it's hard to say. Uh, but it's still got that that sweetness. Um, but it's really got this nice backbone of barrel spice throughout, so it finishes really strong. Um, Mm. Yeah, it's a great sippable whiskey. Um, there's, uh, yeah. So whether whether it works as a celebrity brand or not, uh, doesn't really matter. It's good whiskey and it's great to drink. So uh, worth definitely worth a shot. Definitely worth uh, putting in your cabinet if you were curious. So, cheers.